Welcome to Townline Garage. It's uh, 9 o'clock on a Saturday, the regular crowd. Nope, it's about 3 o'clock on a Sunday. We got a bunch of other things we should be doing. But we picked up this trailer here, and uh, I keep wondering if we can get some life back into the paint on this thing. We had about two feet of snow. It's gone away. It's a balmy 35, 40-ish degrees. And, well, stick around. See what we can do to this old thing. Get you a look around at what we're dealing with here. It's a 2005 Aurora, or a, you know R and R, tall foot snow fire. Been looking at these for a long time to haul uh, snowmobiles and four wheelers. Usually where we go for rides lately, it's eight, 10, 12 hours down the road through the slush and the mud and the stones. So. That's kind of hard on stuff. This is a, let's see, 18 year old trailer now. Um, so it's got some wear and tear, but you know, if the prices are just going through the roof on everything and I, I can't justify a new one. So this is what we got. Uh, got kind of your typical trailer chalky that, uh, that just, that's icky. Um, I have washed this after our one trip we used it on. I did a little bit of sampling here, if you can see a little bit of shine. I think uh, I think there's some life in this yet. And uh, I'm not looking to take it to showroom new, but just kind of, you know, make it look like she wasn't neglected too bad. Cause when you think there's some shine left and you're, you're tooling down the road and you, know, you see that behind you, Makes you a little sad when you know there could be something underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some spray away and wipe the, wipe the remaining crud off. And then uh, we'll get you set up and uh, we're going to hit it with hopefully, you know, one cut of some compound. I'll show you what I'm using here. I picked kind of a medium cut cleaner here. It says fine cut, but she's halfway up the charts. So use Meguiar's a lot, you can get it all over the place. Hobo Freight, all the auto parts stores. I do have my Hobo Freight buffer here. I'm gonna actually clean off my sponge. Wool would work too, might be better for this one, but I picked this one because I use it on some other black paint and it's just a trailer, so I don't really wanna waste more product than what I have to. Um, I, if I was doing a car or something, I would be more selective of what I'm using here. Um, I have used some heavier cut and then you end up stepping down to get stuff shiny enough to, to be happy with so it doesn't look like you took a Brillo pad to it. I don't want to have to do that. This is just a trailer. I might throw a coat of wax on it afterwards just to kind of keep the shine in, but I really just want to cut this until it's got a little bit of gloss left and then I'll try and cover this up and keep it out of the weather a bit. <laughs> Oh, just want to get, you know, the real heavy grit out of there. Almost forgot my ladder. Nope, milk crate. Like I said, I did sample this, so I'm not going to town too crazy. Probably should clean off this pad, but I'm not going to right now. Here we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Silicone? Don't need that.
Forgot my rag. Darn it. Even though we're not working on a finished hot rod or anything, we still want to be reasonable and not uh, go crazy. Remember, you're, you're taking paint off. So if you don't think you've got enough paint left, then you know maybe it's time to scuff and spray some rust-oleum or give it the Krylon touch or whatnot. Yeah, that uh, that wheel is probably about shot. As you can see, first first spin, she's got she's got some sheen coming out already. I did pick up another wheel again from Harbor Freight because they're cheap. I might actually throw that on there. I was trying to be a little too thrifty. It might be not worth my while to use that old one. She's just all gummy. I'm gonna go grab that. I do think wool probably would be a little bit better, as scuzzy as this thing is, but this is what I got. Speedy Foam from Harbor Freight, believe it or not, St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri made in the USA oh yeah she's gonna be toast real quick reason I think the wool would be better is that we're taking so much junk off is that the you know texture of the wool might be better dealing with that versus the foam getting clogged up I'm not gonna go crazy with the shine just want to get some gloss back in it would be nice to be you know not too shiny because there's gonna be rock chips there's already enough rock chips on here and just how she goes but figured a little bit of time would be worthwhile well checked I do not have a wool pad but we can start seeing ourselves already you can see the chalk chalk up in that corner you know this is this is what we're starting with here I can already, can already see the truck there. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on something a little quicker. All chalky, you can't see me at all in this stuff.
So we're going to take a little break. You can see reflection in here now, which wasn't there before. The uh, foam pad's really clogging up on me. I should have known better. I've done this a handful of times, but to be honest with you, the oxidation is much thicker than uh, I anticipated. So I got to take a break for some other things. You can see the huge difference here. I was hoping to just blitz this out because when I did a sample, it was you know moving real quick, but it was a small corner. Um, I'm gonna dig around here and maybe stop by Harbor Freight if I need to for a wool pad because. I think that'll keep, you know, it'll take the build up a little bit better. Um, you know, this isn't as quick and dirty as you'd want to go over your car. Because I am adding swirl marks, but this is a, you know, it's nearing a 20 year old trailer here. And there's scratches and different things in it, but that looks a lot better than, you know, just letting Mother Nature take, its, take her course. and dealing with this chalkboard so spend a little bit of time on this side you can kind of see that's what we're shooting for there all the reflections so pretty good before and after shot there with the old chalkboard versus what we're getting to so I struggle on this side a little bit and kind of running out of time for the day so we'll come back at her well we're back a few days week ish later well we run out of daylight during the weekdays and we had to go get our wool pads so we're back again on a couple hours into what I thought would be you know one or two hour projects so we're gonna keep plucking away at this and we got our you know fuzzy fella here it is a little bit better than the foam but this is just so darn chalky I underestimated how much residue would be here it's just you know it's it, it's a lot and it builds up um, I actually washed this guy once but uh, Harbor Freight pretty good uh, spot for these made in the USA pads less than 10 bucks a piece so pads good uh, drill master buffer I've had for a couple of years Speed control, not, not too friendly right now. She goes from zero to 85 and and then back to 40 again, randomly. So you gotta be cautious with that if you're using this, this cheap buffer on a nice automobile. But uh, we're gonna put you back into time warp and we'll keep keep cruising along. All right, so we're moving right along here. I did change up the formula a little bit. Skid works nice to kind of keep your stuff up out of the dirt. 
as much as I didn't want to take multiple cuts here, it's just it's there's too much build up to not. And I was trying to use this here fine cut cleaner. Is what I started with. I want to try and do one and done. Then I had this stuff. It says all in one. It's even finer than this stuff, so I would not recommend this for your first cut. I had this stuff that froze about four years. It's a medium cut and it's extra watery. Um, keeping the pads a little bit wet helps me keep moving a little bit, especially on these big flat panels. So that's actually working out pretty good, but it does not get you to the point where you're ready to just leave it. So what I'm doing is I got my wool here, I'm using the wool with the medium cut. If I had some heavier cut, I would actually do it because now that I'm taking multiple steps, I could come in with that heavy cut real quick and then bump up to a polish or a wax after that. So got the medium cut on the wool. I'm actually using this one step compound as my second hit and I'll show you on the trailer, see what picks up in the camera here. I got my foam pad here for the second and if I've got time, I'm actually gonna do a third step here because I'm a big fan of sealing in the flavor with some Mother's Caranuba Wax. So, you can see ourselves here in the finish, which is good. Got these little dots and some witness, witness smears from that cleaner. It's still much better than what it was. So, up through here, you can see this haze. That's the first, you know, that medium cut. Back here, I came back real quick, just one swipe with that foam pad and that one step compound. So I think the camera's picking that up and it'll get a little bit shinier there. I sampled on some wax and that wax will just kind of you know, keep it from picking up too much junk. So I'm short on time. I'm going to keep plucking away here. Almost done with this back door. I've got to kind of inspect where I was and finishing up in the dark with some of this. I really don't remember. It looks looks okay-ish. I got to inspect. Go do the front ramp door and then hopefully just sling some wax on this thing and wrap it up. So I'm just going to finish up here with that one step compound on the back. That'll be kind of my second step. I'm going to go around the rest of the trailer and hit that front door and then see if I'm ready for wax. One more quick note. I'll kind of bounce around a little bit. Even though it's about 30 degrees, this stuff doesn't seem to mind too much. I'm waiting for it to get, you see that nice shiny? Instead of, you know, if I wipe a smeared spot. See, that's not ready to wipe off yet. So I'm trying to move around not bounce too much just let it chalk up because if you try and wipe it off too quick especially in this cold it just it smears everything up and it'll be twice the work on here I'm gonna bounce around a bit I just kind of want to be done staring at this tailgate and uh, keep moving on but uh, get a glimpse of what this thing's gonna look like I'm gonna throw some wax on it get my $20 buffer out here I've had for 15 years um, cordless so that would be nice because this thing's in the way all the time but just wanted to share this is my by far my favorite wax I can use it as a polish once in a while and just kind of rather than let it sit rub it on through I like it even better when it's clearanced at two dollars and thirty-seven cents. Check those clearance aisles when you're, you know, strolling through the store. 
I think this is up to like, I don't know, eight dollars a bottle now. But uh, I've used this for a lot of years. It's really good stuff. I've used this for a while too, but uh, this I've never had any any complaints with. So we're letting this sit up here. I did leave this little kind of picture frame in here that didn't get any wax. I want to see what uh, what we can pick up on camera here. Not quite ready, but we're gonna call it good. I can throw one more coat of this on because that buffer just makes it go real quick. So. This is no wax versus wax. You can definitely feel the difference there. One more level to kind of find scratches out. I don't know if you can see that, just a you know, just a titch clear here versus haze there, but it will definitely make it more durable after putting more time into this than what I really wanted to so came in around the edges by hand real quick I may do one more coat on here just to kind of lock it all in when I'm ready to be done with this tailgate and move along I plan on this whole kind of journey being a lot quicker than this so you go back and forth you get this far deep you kind of want to make it worth your while so it is just a utility trailer this is not mere finish, but like I said, I've got the front door to finish up yet. This stuff might, everything might perform just a little bit better. If it wasn't 30 degrees outside, but get antsy when you get something new and you know, you know, you, you kind of know what you got. Hey, tripod. So. I'm going to probably put one more coat on here and let it sit and bite for a little bit longer. This wasn't quite, wasn't quite ready, but like I said, I've taken this wax before and in a hurry just kind of buffed it on through rather than let it sit and chalk up and it actually worked really well so just a reminder we got to finish up here just a reminder what we started with you know you can't see me but I'm standing here and it's just no reflection at all none and this is what we're getting to well, we're finishing up a few more hours in than what I wanted to, but uh, we are done. Are there imperfections? Absolutely. But it is a magnitude of order better than what it was. So if I can get out of work at a reasonable hour tomorrow and we got some sunshine, we'll do another walk around. But there's a lot more shine than when we started. I did kind of rub some of the paint off of the fuel there here we'll give that the Krylon touch here soon so that's what we got trying to get another shot in the daylight Good to finally have that wrapped up one of those things where i thought it was going to be a two-hour job probably got six or so into it not a lot of daylight in you know january up here and just other things to do but uh i thought i was going to cut on through with the 
foam polishing pad. Uh, I got a real quick refresher on that was not going to work. Stopped back at Harbor Freight, went a lot quicker. Medium cut cleaner on the wool, polishing with the foam, and then come back with the wax. Get that rhythm going there, and uh, things went a lot smoother. Do uh, hope you're able to see through the raindrops there a little bit and see how much better this really looks. Uh, if you're not super comfortable with doing this kind of work and just kind of pick up some bits and pieces at a yard sale or somebody's equipment you're borrowing, you know, maybe you go back to that old mower you got out back and rub on that hood a little bit before you go on to your car or your trailer. Or maybe your neighbor's got a mower he let you rub on a little bit. But uh, do appreciate you watching if you liked it. Appreciate you hitting that subscribe button or like. It tells me if I need to turn the camera on around here or just kind of scurry on my business. But uh, thanks again for watching. Till next time, keep between the ditches. Adios.